Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Climb Latitude Gore-Tex jacket. Climb's Latitude Gore-Tex jacket is aimed at people who live their lives on their bikes. It's a tough, laminated, waterproof textile jacket that's all about letting riders stay on the road for long spells at a time. The first version of the Latitude jacket was an all-rounder, but this revamp came in 2018 and now it's focused on travel. There are loads of little features on this jacket that make long distance trips just that little bit easier. The weather protection is designed to deliver day after day and the storage options have been thought out to help riders who are going to be away for weeks, for months or even for years. The outer is made from 840 denier cordura with layers of goat hide covering the lower arms and also around the upper arm. That cordura fabric has a Gore-Tex performance membrane laminated to the back of it. Being Gore-Tex performance means it's a two layer membrane and it's a bit more flexible than the three layer Gore-Tex Pro laminate. That lack of flexibility is one of the few criticisms of laminated membranes and while the Latitude's outer is still stiffer than jackets that aren't laminated, it's more flexible than many laminated jackets. The biggest benefit to having the membrane laminated to the outer is that the jacket doesn't get as wet as one where the membrane's loosely attached to the inside. Because it doesn't get as wet, it dries more quickly too and it's a hell of a lot more pleasant to put back on the next morning after a wet day's riding. Another benefit to having it laminated is that the waterproof material comes apart when you open one of the vents. That means you can get more air through to the inside to keep you cool and that improves versatility as the jacket works in both high temperatures and also when it's wet and raining. This jacket has two whacking great vents around the shoulders here and then there are another pair on the forearms where climb say it's more effective at pulling in air when you're in the riding position. Then there are long vents down each side at the back that help warm air escape from inside the jacket. The main fastener is a zip with a storm flap that velcros over the top and then the collar is another velcro panel. The collar fastener can be snapped back against these hooks here, climb helpfully give you two so you can open it wider than most other jackets to give you more room around the throat. In addition there's a pull cord at the back to tighten that collar even more if that's something that you feel you need. The cuffs are Velcro wraps. They don't open all that wide, but I found I could shuffle a pair of winter gloves in there without too much trouble, and lighter gloves fit in there really easily. There are fit adjusters to tighten or slacken the fit depending on the layers you're wearing underneath. Those are made up of belts here at the waist and then at the lower arms. And then there's a drawstring at the lower hem so you can pull that tighter and seal it against drafts and against water. There are five exterior pockets on this jacket, two each at the chest and at the hips, and then there's a card pocket at the base of the left sleeve. There's a key loop inside that left chest pocket, and then the card pocket has a secret stash, so you can keep another card tucked in there that no one else will know about. If you go online and register with Climb, they'll send you a Climb branded ID card that you can tuck in that pocket. And all of those pockets on the outside have sealed zips to keep out water. On the inside, there are another five pockets. Four of those are really simple and obvious. That's two each side within the liner, but the fifth is very sneaky beaky as it sits behind the back protector where no one else would really think of looking. That's meant to stow crucial documents that you don't need all the time, so no one else can get to them except you. There's no other liner for this jacket, so for winter riding, you'll need to layer up and add base layers and mid layers to keep you warm. Climb have plenty of options on that score, but you can wear anything of any brand underneath as long as it will fit. The armour for this jacket is a full set of flexible D3O armour. The shoulder and elbow armour meets the higher level two of the CE standard and the height of the elbow armour can be adjusted. The pockets for those protectors are also made from a high breathing mesh that makes sure you can get as much heat as possible away from your body to keep you cooler on the inside while you're riding. There's also a back protector included as standard which meets the basic level one of the CE safety standard. A connection zip at the base of the jacket attaches to the matching Climb Latitude Gore-Tex trousers which have the same type of construction as the jacket and cost £549.99 a pair. With this jacket costing £699.99 that makes for a £1,250 combination. For most of us that makes this suit an investment rather than a casual purchase. It is expensive but it has a laminated Gore-Tex membrane and it's been given plenty of serious thought at the development stage. For people who spend their lives in the saddle this is one of the most effective and impressive jackets around. We've had five customer reviews so far for this jacket and all five of those people have given this jacket the maximum five stars. 
owners really love the performance of both the waterproofing and the venting and say the jacket has really lived up to the price tag. From a personal point of view, if I was heading out on a really long road trip, then this is just the sort of jacket that I would want to have with me. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Climb Latitude Gore-Tex jacket. But if there isn't a thing you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.